welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. It is a goofy looking fish. This exact one before, yeah, that's a big kid. It hit it as soon as it hit the water. Well, I hope you guys... Get... Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Fish are all about and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors. Might go hunt, fish, metal detecting. Might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking. LT Outdoors. I hope you enjoy the show. Special shout out to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com. Look up LT Outdoors. You guys are a huge help. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today, I'm actually on Hubbard Lake. I'm going to be fishing offshore, and I'm trying to catch some bullheads. Um, I love bullhead fishing. They are a blast. They are also really good to eat. So if you think they're a trash fish, you might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself and get out and eat some because they are good. Uh, today, though, guys, I'm going to be using some tackle here from Elk Town Tackle. My friend Luann Gardner makes these up herself. They're really cool little harnesses. They're kind of like crappie rigs, except she makes them with, like, spinners and beads and, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be using today with some night crawlers. Let's see what we can get. I think I got a bullhead. <sighs> oh yeah, big bullhead. Cool, that didn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. It's a nice fish. There's a fish. Got it. That's a smaller one. Yeah, I think it's a little bullhead. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you know what? It still counts. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's a big one. I set the rod down just for a second, and this fish smashed it. This is a bigger fish here. Oh, that's a big bullhead. That's a real big bullhead. This would be my master angler, I think. Oh, get up here. Oh, yeah. That is a toad. That's a toad. Master angler bullhead's 14. Oh, yeah, baby. That is 16 inches. Oh, 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 there's one on the ultralight. Got it. Oh, that's another good fish. Another good fish. This don't feel like a giant, but it's definitely another good one. I tell you though, guys, look at this ultralight. That's <laughs> the ugly stick ultralight. Putting up a good fight. That's why I rigged this up. Four pound test. I wanted some nice, <laughs> oh, I wanted some good fights like that. She might be bigger than I thought. She just didn't know she was hooked till now. Oh, she's getting around my other line too. Oh yeah, she got all around the other line. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another big one. It's a big black, big black bullhead. That'd be so cool if I could get a black and a yellow master angler. Get after it. Oh, oh, oh. One's back on the ultralight. There it is. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, bullheads should be respected because they're definitely a good fighting fish. This one's a little bit little on the small side not bad i've eaten them this size before but you don't get a ton of meat around those rib cages on these so and i'll show you that in the fillet video but uh yeah we're gonna throw this one back 
should get bigger. We'll get them next year. There he is. That's a guarantee. Bullheads are not shy about biting. <laughs> hey, another yellow. This guy's swallowed Bright yellow too. They are good about swallowing the hook. That's why you kind of want to hook them as soon as you can. Um, there is a special way to hold these though, guys. As you can see, I put one of their spikes through my finger right there because then they can't they can't get you. The other one's resting here. He can whip around all he wants and he can't get me now. And you also got to watch, there's one right there. But if you hold them like this, they can't get you. These ones been per hitting pretty hard. Yeah. Might just be the day, maybe from the storm or something. Oh, maybe. Ow. A little black. That's a good blood. I love how they hit. <laughs> Yeah, I want to keep. Calm down. Oh, it's a it's one of those elk town tackle rigs that she sent me. Those ones from up in Atlanta. It's basically a crappie rig, but it's got these cool colored beads. And then uh, the I've also got one here that I haven't tried it, but it's got a spinner on it. I don't know how that happened. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, I picked it up and he was just... Probably. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a pig. Nice. Yep. I'm sure of that. Well, there's the ultra light one. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, this ultra light is a blast with the bullheads. Yeah, she feels heavy. Yay! Double up, see if we can get a triple. This, this one feels pretty dang big. It's hard to tell on ultralight, but it feels big. Ooh. Yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> that four pound test. I do have a net if you need Oh, that's all right, I'll get her. Oh yeah, <laughs> man, oh man, what a chunk, a oh, double header, man. <laughs> there. Yeah, this is my favorite rod for pan fish. Yeah, the ultralight ugly stick and I've got the, the reel that goes with this is on my little ice rod that I've been using for trout. You're gonna get bigger. Yeah, I mentioned earlier in the video that you throw you throw on top of a bullhead, they're gonna hit right away, and that's what just happened to Rich. He just hit the water with that and already got a fish on there, which is good because then he shouldn't have it down his throat just yet.
Oh yeah. Yeah, they do. They're fun. Oh, is that a bass? That's got to be a bass, the way that jumped. Oh, it is. It's a big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Oh, yeah. That's a beast. That's a Hubbard Lake smallmouth right there. There you go. Look at the gut. I bet you threw on a bed. Look at that stomach. What a monster, man. <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, oh, I think he's on my other line there. Yeah, he is. Uh, don't make a mess. No, maybe he's not. I might have another fish. Yeah, he's not. I'll get that other fish. Though. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Ah, maybe. This guy's probably swallowed it because he was whacking it for a while. A little yellow. You like a good one? <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Good eater size. You like a good one? Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's a big one. That's a good fish. Yeah, pretty good. Oh! That one was already, he's been on there. Oh, that's a toad. That's an, another master. <laughs> yeah. All right, sounds good. I want to see a picture. <laughs> All right, bye. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little guy. That's a mess. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. From what I've heard, there's a lot of hammer handles though, but still, it's it's all content. Eric's got one too. Oh, oh, triple. <laughs> this feels like a big one. That last one was small, but this feels like a good one. Oh, 
哦。<笑>对啊，这种呢，不能分。Throw this guy back. This guy sure is pretty, though. Ah, I don't know. Not bad. Yeah, you get bigger. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I must have threw on top of this fish. <laughs> yep, almost out of GoPro light anyway. guys I want to show you all exactly how I fillet a bullhead there's not much to it it's pretty much the same dang thing as every other species and I'm gonna tell you right now the old-fashioned nailing to a tree thing like you do with a cat don't have to do it you don't have to do that with a catfish either the way that I do these bullheads is the same exact way that I do the cats too so um, yeah you're gonna see how I do this you don't get meat really off the ribs it's gonna be you know the, the rib bones poke up so high on a bullhead that you don't get much out of it so don't expect much there, but you're going to get some good meat regardless. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Try this fish because it is Show you guys how to fillet a bullhead. Now, a lot of these, even though they've been in the refrigerator overnight, are still going to be alive. All right, bullheads can live on very low oxygen. That's how they've lived all these years. They can live in the shallowest of ponds and still live. But I'm going to show you. I just cut right behind here. Behind this bone right here, run your knife right along the backbone, just like you do filleting any other fish. When I get down, usually this fin right here is where I like to stick it through. Keep your keep your knife as low, you know, as far down as you can along that rib bone. You'll feel it. Get to the tail, don't cut it off. You're gonna want that piece. And then, kind of fillet it off. Now, I wouldn't even try to get this part on the ribs because I usually just cut past it because I'm going to tell you right now, if you were to get it, by the time you skin it, there's not going to be any meat there. Right in that section, those, the ribs, that, that's all rib bone right here, guys. That right there, there's no meat. That's all ribs. So I go past it just like this. You're still going to get a big chunk when you go past Look at that. You're still Ruby's been crazy. Still gonna get all that. Run your knife right along the skin. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful bullhead fillet. That's all there is to it. I'll show you on the other side and then I'm gonna get another one out. And that'll be it. I'm just gonna show you on the two. Again, go down to the tail, but don't cut all the way through. Fillet it out a little bit here. I'm just going to show you for reference, if you were to try and fillet over these ribs, you're only going to get that little tiny bit. And by the time you skin it, that's probably going to be gone. Because it's only skin thickness right there anyway.
greasy you end up not getting that anyway but again full head fillet that's all there is to it show you on one more fish here these are some giant bullheads by the way a lot of these are are over master angler size again don't worry about getting that meat over those you can cut right around that spot right there do not worry about that ribs because you're not going to get much off of it if anything majority of your meats down here Again, big, nice, thick piece. I'm going to get a lot of meat out of these. I didn't even count them, so I'm going to count as I fillet here. See how many I ended up with. I'm sure I have at least a dozen. Again, I'm just going to cut around that rib. Because there's no point in fighting with it. Boom, just like that. You're gonna get plenty of meat just like that, guys. No need to nail to a tree or anything like that. <laughs> if you enjoy the channel and wanna become part of Team LT Outdoors, you can do so. It's as easy as going to Etsy.com, look up LT Outdoors. I've got a whole bunch of really sweet merchandise, guys. I'm designing stuff all the time and throwing it on there. Fishing shirts, hunting shirts, trapping shirts. Uh, pillows, towels, shorts, hoodies, jackets, you name it. There's stuff all over on there. Also, if you would like something like a decal, I send these out for free. Email me, ltoutdoors15 at yahoo.com. Send me your mailing address, and I will be sure to send you out a decal for free, and I appreciate the support. Bass Brothers Lures and Baits, everything for the serious trapper. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. RBM Jigs in Lake Effect Lure Co. Everything for the serious ice fisherman and now summer tackle too. Sportsman's Connection, find the right hole. And Crooked Bend, the leader in Michigan food plot mixes.